What's up everyone, RJ here with Hacking University and today I will be demonstrating an awesome image compression tool for Windows, the uh, Riot. Riot is a very you know, innovative image compressor that comes with a fully auto mode that automatically in, you know, analyzes your images and uh, apply the compression to it. So, you know, the, the resulted image looks a lot similar, but the size uh, is a lot smaller. So, uh, like, I just, uh, you know, dragged the image. You can see the initial uh, image size was 519.93 KB, KB, so KB files, you know. And uh, we are on the fully auto mode. And so fully auto mode automatically makes the quality to 80%. And you know sometimes it you know analyzes and apply the chroma subsampling and other few adjustments. But you can see the optimized image size is 249.93 carry. So it's uh, similarly the half size, and you can see the quality. You know it's pretty much the same. This is the original, and this is the compressed image so you can see you cannot find any difference but still you have a size difference so you can just you know save and replace the original image so this was the image and it's now replaced so let me show you one more example so this is a background this is the original image so now there are very simple way to you know if you want to compress you can click and drag the image and boom it's compressed so the initial size was 41.85 and the optimal size is 25 and you can see you can you know there are a few things i just zoomed in and you can see the difference you won't find any difference there but obviously size is compressed up and obviously uh if you do not want to go with the fully auto mode you have option you can tweak it yourself so you want to get the size more you can drag it down to you know 50 or 60 you can see the size is gone more down but you'll start uh, you'll start to see you know some few lines and compression not working uh, like the best so fully auto mode is the best one it automatically you know <coughs> keeps your image uh, quite good now you obviously have uh, many more options like uh, the JPEG, the PNG and the GIF image. So let's just uh, you know get another PNG image into it and you can see automatically it shifts the PNG and it shows you the image the compressed option of 13.91. So uh, now there are a few more customizations you can do there is a color reduction true color you can shift it to 256 and click on it and it will take some time and boom you can see the difference is 7.31 and the original 16 and if you think that your image looks quite good and you do not feel you can save it and your image will have a new size then there is a compression which is medium maximum you can go up to maximum and then you can wait and see but it doesn't make a lot of difference so you have to check it out but there are external optimizers which you can use like uh, the advanced png after png and the png out i like the png out extreme it's a very slow compression but it's the best compression you can get so you won't be able to use it right away because it needs some external tools to be downloaded. So this is the PNG out.exe file. It's a small file. It's just 38 KB. You can download it from this website. Obviously, the link is in the description. You can visit the post and get the, you know, uh, this thing. This is obviously the website. And here goes the PNG out.exe. You click on it and you will get this file. Then you copy this file your C program files, Riot, plugins, and paste it like, like this. So you can see it's there, PNG out. Now you can apply this, you know, PNG out. You click on this thing and it will 
apply and you can see there is one more KB difference and it automatically you know compresses your image but you won't be able to see any difference and you lost in your image so it's the best option you can choose to always apply this for every image so now you can just choose this thing and by default every time you load an image like this we load the png image once again you click on and drag it you can see it automatically scans and it automatically applies this thing so this is the best way you know you can uh, uh, compress your images in bulk too it's easy to when you can even resize them that's even possible with this tool what you need to do you need to choose your images then you need to uh, drag your images so let's first of all let's uh, shift to the jpeg because we would like to go uh, convert all the images to jpeg click and you drag and then it automatically asks you if you want to go with the batch optimizer you click on yes and you're shifted to the batch optimizer stuff so there are additional tasks right so like it's, uh, they have a rotate, flip, resize, so automatically you choose anything that attribute is applied to every image which is right over here we have three images right so let's compress all these images to width to 100 pixels right and uh, we will choose the compressed folder where you want to add the folder so it's desktop compressor to automatically create a folder you hit start and you can see automatically all your images are compressed and it's right away you click on it and you can see how small it is all images are small it's because we chose uh, 100 pixels as a well width and it's applied to every image so you know batch optimization is amazing and the fully auto mode is amazing too so i think so it's the very um, great utility to compress your images and even add effects so by adding effects i mean if you drag the image right over here then there is image adjustments option you can see we have brightness you can obviously increase your brightness you can increase contrast gamma and you can invert it and it looks you know pretty uh, the effect looks pretty nice you know gamma is there and then the grayscale is there so you can even add some tones and you can save and the effect will be added automatically so i think so it's a very awesome tool it's available right for free the you know obviously the link is in the description you can visit the post and download this utility so i recommend whenever you are posting uh, some you know images or uploading images online you should compress those images that will save uh, your bandwidth and even the person who is uh, opening that image can uh, easily view your image as the size is uh, low so if he or she has a uh, slow internet connection it will be still available for them to access it out and uh, I think so if you're into the blogging line like I am I always prefer to compress my images to that extent that every person who is accessing my blog is able to view images as fast as the blog post loads uh, so you know I think so this is a useful and a most important you know utility you should use uh, so guys this ends the you know another demonstration or tutorial for compressing your images using this awesome uh, utility so if you find any problem do comment do comment on the blog post and do like and subscribe to my channel peace